today on NCAA 2K20. We are coming up on the halfway point of the conference season. It's all about conference races today as six teams battle for the all-important top two spots. North Carolina tries to get back on track in the ACC after an 0-3 start. Texas Tech and Kansas State face off for what could be first place in the Big 12. And in prime time, Andrew Nemhard in Florida takes on Austin Wiley and Auburn for first place in the SEC, who will reign supreme in three crucial matchups. NCAA 2K20 starts right now. NCAA 2K20 on GA Sports is brought to you by Derek's NCAA 2020-2021 rosters. These are the most authentic college basketball rosters ever produced, featuring true-to-life player faces, ratings, and tendencies, as well as fully customized teams, coaches, and lineups. Check out the Patreon featured in the description so you can get the roster when it drops plus monthly updates. Come be a part of the most ambitious project in sports gaming by clicking the link in the description. The three games we're featuring today, they're really all about the conference implications. That's what the major theme is in this episode as we are almost halfway through the conference season. And both of these teams, for very different reasons, looking for a big win here. Of course, North Carolina, they've started 0-3 in conference, so they need to get themselves back on track, whereas Virginia, they're coming at this from a totally different perspective. They started with a big win over Louisville in their first conference game, and they've since lost their last two, both of them close games, by the way. One-point game to Syracuse, three-point game to Florida State. So this game means a lot for both of these teams. I hate to I hate to do it to you because I am Virginia, but I don't <laughs> want to lose today. So um, it's gonna be it's gonna be good. Both these teams could really just really use all these points that they could get there. Oh, what a shot! Wow. Yeah, and oh. that's what I was gonna say is both these teams really good defensive teams in the country. I think they're one in three. Oh, I got blocked. Cole Anthony Lancer back with that one. Elsewhere in the ACC, by the way, Duke survives surging Florida State. Final score was 65-62. Florida State had been playing fantastic basketball coming into that game. Trey Jones, by the way, only scores four points. So Duke had to look elsewhere, specifically at Wendell Moore, to step up. Great D. Great D. Oh, my. Yes, what? Play forward, rush. Oh, oh, oh. oh he almost UNC got fans. sent home. Fired up. We got action heating up at the Big 12 as well, by the way. Or the Big 10, I should say. Uh, first place, Purdue, trying to withstand a late Michigan run. So we'll keep you updated on that one. Oh. Elsewhere in the Big 10, Michigan State picks up their second win, upsetting Minnesota who was sitting tied for first place in that conference. So Michigan State finds themselves at 2-2 two and two in conference. Yep, got him up. Robinson, boom! Oh. Drop the hammer, jumped? kid. Breaking news now, Purdue has survived a late Michigan run. 49-48 is the final, so Purdue Jeez. moves to 4-0 and oh in the Big Ten. Minnesota at three and one and once again Travion Williams forced to exit that game with an injury so we'll keep you updated yeah go against Paco go for it go for okay it. Oh, okay on. I will okay I will what's Paco got what's Ar Paco got Armando when I'm talking trash you can't allow that stuff to happen <laughs> lead. we got a one point lead coming here into the fourth quarter now this to me seems like it favors North Carolina because both these teams are defensive so North Carolina can play with a lead and play their game, whereas Virginia will have to up the tempo a little bit to try to get some offense. All right. Yep, got and him again, up. Falls right got him up. Yep, again, falls right to you. Got him up. Again, falls right to you. Yeah. Oh, that's Why a long range that's shot from man. that center. Why is my big man running all the way out? He had so much space, about 15 feet. Leaky in front. Black. Wow, look at the athleticism. Oh, Leaky oh Black! Gosh. Leaky Black's done How's it again! How's that not a foul? Garrison Brooks all foul? the way! I would love to know how that's not a foul. Leaky Swing Black. It. Look at Baco. That's when we no needed him. Way. Armando no Baco. way. What an offensive possession I... from North Carolina. 
There it is. Oh, wow. Too little too late, though. Too little too is late. Is it? It's a two-point game with nine seconds left. Uh, foul him. All right, I mean, here it is. Come on. Game is over. Choke. Choke. Oh, no. Oh, no. Leaky Black. He's got no timeouts. Cole no! Anthony! Cole That's not Anthony. at all where I was aiming. You dumb game. You screw me on one end and screw me on the other. Oh, my God, Cole. 90 rated free throw. Come on, kid. Yeah, you got this one, though. Game, of course, is going to give this you. to you. You could barely make it. You could tap it and still make it. I just... Oh, I had gross. just sold gross. Cole Anthony as one of the best perimeter defenders in the country, and he does his job giving North Carolina their first conference win. What a game. Back for game two, and Texas Tech here. They're looking to bounce back after a loss to Kansas. And uh, well, they, didn't, uh, they don't have to look very far for the team that they can bounce back against as they're taking on Kansas State. And Kansas right now first in the Big 12. And Texas Tech hot on their tail with just one loss. This would be a big momentum boost for them against the Wildcats. We got another Big 12 score that has just gone final here. TCU becomes the first team to 10 losses with a 66-63 loss to West Virginia, who had been having some struggles of their own. But TCU, we talked a lot about how much we liked guys like Desmond Bain and Kevin Samuel early in the season but it has not been uh, sunshine and rainbows for the Horn Frogs this year, to say the least. No, absolutely not. Yep, throw that one down there, Jordan Love. Back in a tie for first place. Oh, what a pass! Oh, what a pass. Unbelievable. Woo! That was beautiful. There we go. Oh, good. So turn around! Yep, he's out. He's <laughs> Why are we not passing it to the wide open player who I'm aiming at? <laughs> you know, oh, speaking really? of a close game, we got a tie ball game now, and, and this game, that also graphics says my first lead tonight. I'm pretty sure this is not a lead. Um, so they're gonna have to they're gonna have to fact check themselves on that one. Um, but this game just got a whole lot more uh, valuable for Texas Tech because Kansas has indeed gone down to Baylor. The Bears hand Kansas their first conference loss of the season. Tristan Clark has another fantastic game. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tristan Clark drops 19 in that game. Jeez. And Baylor goes on to win. Final score 72-60. to 60. They pulled away at the end with a couple of Tristan Clark threes. So suddenly this game got even more valuable for Texas Tech because it is once again for joint first place in the conference. And Tech and Kansas still have to play each other one more time this season. Take that. Yep, but we can get a better can shot. Step? Boom! Can we step? Can we step? Beautiful here, boys. It's really been the defense. Yes, look oh, at that. that goes to it's you. It's really been the that defense that you. has been crucial here. Driving down the court, Dunleavy. Wow, this is not the performance I was expecting. Oh my gosh. And the foul! With two seconds left, Texas Tech is collapsing right now. We know who's going to be looked upon to step up for the Red Raiders. And, all right, well, that wasn't the man T I was thinking. TJ Hollifield. <laughs> TJ Hollifield. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't, I didn't make that pass. What's going on here? Yep, yep, look at that. We read it all the way. We have shut down Gosh. Chris Clark, and that is a huge reason why we are in the position that we're in right now. Can, can I get somebody down low? Yep, get him up. Stalker, and one. Oh, my God. Where's my fucking center at? <laughs> Texas Tech, this is one to forget. I think this is for the Red Raiders. One of the more inconsistent teams that I think you'll find. For as great as Chris Clark is, you talk about a team that rattled off, I believe, seven wins in a row. But that came off of, what, a 70-point loss to USC? Yeah. Yep, and now two, that one. Now presumably two losses in a row. I mean, you, you, you never want to presume too early, but but if this goes on to be a loss, then again, beautiful drop step. Wow, Chewa. Jeez. Come on. Oh, get, oh. Almost 
stole that. Yeah, you're talking about two losses in a row for uh, for a team that was one of the hottest teams in the country coming in. So, can I get? Thank you. Nah, that was on me. I wish the fir I wish the first pass went. That there, one was honestly. on me. Like all of my passes should have done this. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is this is a performance for Kansas State. But we'll show you the Big 12 standings as they stand after this game. But this is quite a performance for Kansas State and might might get things started for the Wildcats uh, when it comes to competing in the Big 12. Ooh, Give me that. Ramsey. Ramsey. It's a little too little too late. And look at that. that if that Clark doesn't encapsulate even... the game right there for Chris Clark. Can't even hit. Kansas State going to go on and win this ball game 31-25. It's a disappointing day for Texas Tech, who had an opportunity to tie for first once again in the Big 12, but they slip now to 2-2 two two in conference. And before we get to our primetime game, let's take a look at the Big 12 standings as they stand right now. are in prime time here and a game that will decide uh, joint first place in the SEC both of these teams sitting at two and one and the winner here that's a great start here early on from Auburn throw that home McCormick the winner here will move to three and one tie with Tennessee for first place in the SEC and speaking of joint first place um, we talked a lot about uh, Texas Tech's uh, their their uh, the stakes in that game against Kansas State, but as you just saw with the with the standings, we did not do enough justice to how well Kansas State's been playing in conference because they are now tied for first in the Big 12. So we really should have given them more credit for what they've been able to do. And all of that is coming into rivalry week. Mm -hmm. where we will see Kansas State again against their aforementioned in-state rivals, Kansas Jayhawks, as well as UCLA versus USC and uh, Michigan State, Michigan. So three fantastic rivalry games coming next episode. Right, yeah. Rivalry games and schools that have deep, uh, deep history basketball-wise. Mm -hmm. Speaking of one of our... Uh, one of our more anticipated rivalry games next week, UCLA-USC. Uh, both of those teams picked up wins. This, How did I not make either of those? I yeah, needed that. <laughs> both of those teams picked up wins. So UCLA moves to 4-0 mm -hmm. in conference. USC moves to 3-1. and So you're talking about, again, a game that could put – UCLA two games ahead in the Pac-12 and in the driver's seat for a tournament bid. Uh, or it could move, move USC into a tie for first place in the conference. So lots on the line in that game. Again, just next episode we're going to see that. But we have not talked about them enough. 13-point win over Kentucky, a 10-point win over these Florida Gators. Uh, they beat Mississippi State today. Okay. Yeah, we'll Tennessee's been solid. They've been really good. Yeah, they struggled early on, but, you know, it, it's a matter of if you can win your uh, your conference to get into the tournament. So yeah. It's worth reminding everybody that it's the top two teams from each conference that goes on to the NCAA tournament and then four at-large bids in a 16-team tournament. Oh, look at that. That's uh, exactly no. what we needed. And one. You're going to call a foul? <laughs> Wiley. Boom. Oh, Austin Wiley. Just insane. Insane. Again, as a center, as a front court player, I don't think we've given Wiley enough credit for being oh, a great scorer. Oh, look at that. What a pass. Oh, wow. Bro, wow. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> then he passed it to your own guy. Pass, it to, pass it to my <laughs> point guard, who's wide open. Yep, Wiley. Break him down off the dribble. Wiley at the buzzer. Austin Wiley's shutting down this Florida crowd. 
And for a foy, yeah, he can hit why it, would that, and he does. Why, why would your open three ever rim out like mine do? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't make a three last game, so... You didn't even attempt a three. Oh, no, you did. I did, I did. I went over 11 once we normalized. Like, what? <laughs> we were talking about it before the game started. This is the third time that we've seen the Auburn Tigers in as many weeks now, which was not the intention. And I mean, neither of us are Auburn fans, so we're not biased or anything. But uh, we just we're bringing you the best games every week, and Auburn happens to be in them. And Austin Wiley is a big reason why Auburn is in the position that they're in right now. Oh there we wow! Go. Get the home crowd going a little bit. Come on, man. And now the. Here we go, Franklin. What? And I don't. Oh I'm my God, Austin Wiley. I'm no. I'm literally in front of him. He reached over my back and <laughs> oh grabbed it. Oh my God. This, this is an unbelievable performance from Austin Wiley. Yep, and he'll grab that one. Here we go. This footage needs to be sent to to NBA 2K, 2K20 <laughs> makers, and this needs to not happen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, final game has gone, well, final here besides this one uh washington In. goes down um, yeah washington goes down loses their seventh straight game we mentioned that they were in action earlier they lose their seventh straight game this time to the oregon ducks final score 75 54 so washington is out is on about as much of a free fall as uh any team in the country right now you feel for them you really do I oh man when we normalize this this is this is yet another 40 point game for Austin Wiley, who's had two, I believe, in three weeks now. Yes, let's go. Yeah, that yeah, he has. Yeah, if he's if he's on 20 right now, normalized, he's going to be up there. He he's could be on pace to break the uh, Trey Jones record for most in the seasons. Wiley. No way. Oh, wow, he really? misses that. <laughs> yes, he's Macklemore. So... What are you doing in from the back door? Great D. Great D, Wiley. Like, how? And Wiley's there to grab the board. That, excuse me. Wiley. How does Austin. that go in? <laughs> Wiley. <laughs> we'll, get a re we'll get a reset in the form of next NCAA 2K20 episode because it is rivalry week. So if there's any episode where you and I can just battle it out personally... That would be the one. Did you take that timeout? I don't want a timeout. The assistant coach is gone. I've fired. I've sacked him. Auburn's going to dribble this one out here. And they're going to... Oh, God. Uh, ref. <laughs> ref. That's what I'd love to see from my players. <laughs> Did you just take that? No. <laughs> You're a piece of shit if you just took that. I honestly didn't take that. All right, so that's another assistant coach fired right there. Yeah. It's the You're losing assistant assistance assistant. by the second. Can I... Take some 10 years to turn and take a shot, my word. Less said about that game, the better. Uh, I agree with that. I agree with that. Well, from your perspective. From my perspective, this has been quite a performance for Austin Wiley. And we're going to leave you with the updated SEC and Pac-12 standings before uh, coming into Rivalry Week next episode. So make sure you get subscribed so you can see Rivalry Week number one on GA Sports. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you.